it's me. I think I love retro games. I think I love retro games. I think I love retro games. Hello, it's me, Jace at Retro Games, and we are going to do another unboxing video. Now, if anybody watched the last unboxing video, you will have seen it was a bit messy. Um, I had some odd zooming in in a few of the shots. If I ever, if I ever find out who that Ken Burns is, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do him in. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at editing yet. I'm, I'm going to get the hang of it in time. Anyway, I've got, I've got two little boxes for you today. And now, last time, the boxes were really interesting. Um, it was a good collection that came in. This is far more unknown. This is a random collection. Bound to be a bit more eclectic. Is that a good word? Yeah. Eclectic. Yeah, maybe. Um, so, should we do the little one? The little one, pretty heavy. Sounds like cassettes. Uh, this, oh, this one's, this one's heavy as well. Uh, eight kilos. Uh, Let's have a look. Got my knife. I'm gonna properly do this this time. Properly. Brown paper. Oh, it's upside down. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Computer stuff. Now. That's what we like. Computer stuff. Now you have to be very careful opening boxes. I'm not going to say that I've ever cut through a really rare item with a knife, but you can use your own imagination. Okay, some, some very nice rubbery tape. Let's have a look. Right, well, here we go. This is a bit more, uh, this is a bit more like the kind of stuff we normally get. Um, I've got the letter, I've got to do that later. I've got some packaging. Uh, and as you can see there, a box of hardware. So, we've got a very nice... Oh, we have a broken Sanyo cassette player. Um, cassette players, very unreliable um, back in the day. We used to get through them, but they only used to cost about a tenner. You'd go to your local market and you'd pick up a uh, wonderful cassette player uh, and then wonder why it didn't work three weeks later. Uh, I'm going to put that down there. Uh, a Kempston compatible joystick interface. I believe this is a power play interface. I am quite familiar with ZX Spectrum stuff, having collected it for, well, since 1982. Um, yep, not much to say about that. Spectrum Plus starter cassette. Everyone needs one of those. Really boring. Um, a quick shot one joystick now. I actually like the Quick Shot one. People say, "Oh no, Quick Shot two, Quick Shot two, But these are actually more reliable. But they have a lot of travel. Can you tell? Um, we used to play uh, the old uh, tapping. You can. It's good for that. You know, if you need to do a bit, a bit of waggling, one of your Daily Thompson's Decathlon sort of games. Waggle away with this. Um, there's a joystick. It's a grey one called the Boss joystick, and it's so floppy on the top. I, I've <laughs> innuendo city, um, but yeah, that's the best one for uh, decathlon. Right, let's have a look. Well, oh, there's another joystick in here. This is a cruiser joystick by the looks of it. Yes, a red topped cruiser. Uh, very nice. Um, you could put that over your nether regions and make a funny video. No problem at all. Um, you can hear that. Can you hear the click? Micro switches. We like micro switches. They last a bit longer, but then when they don't work, they really don't work forever. Okay, let's have a look. What well, we've got a Spectrum Plus in here. The uh, the Mac Daddy of well, I don't know if I don't know if a Spectrum is a Mac Daddy. Um, I'm finding a lot of unreliable Spectrums at the moment. Spectrum Plus, particularly. Um, if you're lucky, it's a keyboard fault, and sometimes it's just the membrane gets fractured with age and you lose a few keys. They are replaceable and it's a lot easier to do it on a Spectrum Plus than a rubber keyed because you haven't got the gluing down. Um, oh, it's been repaired once. Uh, it's computer servicing and supplies. 
uh, in Long Eaton, and this was, well, there's no date, but it has been serviced, which is a good sign. Someone was still using it for quite a long time. Um, it's in good condition, actually. It's nice, nice shape. Um, get rid of the bits of crud. Uh, a Spectrum Plus, yay! No, I can tell you what's going to be next. Spectrum Plus power supply. Uh, no. Oh, no, it's the cassette player power lead. Uh, aerial cassette, aerial cable. There's no power supply. Um, ear and mic leads. That's what we used to call them. Another Spectrum Plus starter tape, just in case. Now we've got some games. Let's have a look. We've got Trains Railway Simulator. Now, PC. DVD case PC games are a tough sell and this is my tip I think these are ugh, you go to a charity shop you can pick them up like 50p 20p DVD cased PC games why are they so cheap why when you get to the card box there's games for like 100 pounds going rare Avenger games all this all you know in the big cardboard original 1990 to sort of 1999 era that sort of decade PC games come in huge card boxes, and they're really collectible. For some reason, when we went to DVD case, everybody hates them, but they do at the moment. Surely, everyone has got rid of so many, they've all gone in landfill. These have to be worth, they're, they're a collectible of the future. Give it 10 years, and we'll all be saying, why did we throw away all our DVD case PC games? Right. Okay, let's have a look. I don't, don't wanna dwell on that anymore. Okay, we've got, we've got the Spectrum Plus, Spectrum Plus user guide. Um, oh, one of the most common games in the world. Um, there's billions of these out there. I don't know if every parent thought they were going to educate their child by buying them a copy of this. But it doesn't matter what format it is, doesn't matter. Oh, there's about four different versions, young players. Trivial Pursuit. Oh, what, what are we going to do with them all? What are we going to We could have a fire. Maybe you can send all your Trivial Pursuits to me and we'll have a massive Trivial Pursuit fire. Yeah, let them burn. Let them melt. No. That is not eco-friendly. Sorry about that. Um, okay, well, we've got another Spectrum Plus user guide and a manual for The Hobbit. The big Spectrum adventure, The Hobbit. Um, well before The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit movies. There was a text and graphic adventure which took the Spectrum and Commodore universe by storm. And that was The Hobbit. It was a good one. Okay, let's have a look at the rest of these games. I'm do, trying to do this a bit quicker, because last time, 20 minutes for an unboxing. Oh, a bit much, isn't it? Spare in later, Night Gunner. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. Taskword 2 came through with a lot of Spectrums in that big square pack with all the games. Millions of these out there. Very hard to sell, even for a pound. Um, Return of the Jedi. Now, this is a nice one. Uh, this is the Sinclair. They did a deal with Parker, as they did with Hudson for Stop the Express. Um, and they released a few really nice games on the Sinclair label. And Return of the Jedi is one of them. Um, they have these nice silver, silver inlays. That's a nice, that is a nice game. So, good. That, that's my favourite item so far in this box. Paperboy 2. Uh, Paperboy 2, obviously there's no such game in the arcades as Paperboy 2, but the, the computer versions were so successful. Oh, let's make Paperboy 2. Um, it's not much different to, the, I don't know if you can see the screenshots, it, it's kind of based on the, uh, on the arcade still. Um, but nobody really talks about it, everybody just wants to play Paperboy 1. But it's, it's moderately, it's moder moderately rare. On the spectrum and like a lot of games from the end of the spectrum era it includes the amstrad cpc version on the same cassette okay winter games by epics this should have a separate manual um, does it no it does not uh, complete we all want everything to be complete this is not complete okay krypton factor this was a tv show in the uk uh, with Gordon Burns, it was a great quiz show. Um, they made a computer game of it. Nobody really liked the computer game. And then actually, I don't think people like the quiz show anymore. It, not just because of this game. This comes in one of these. They're, they're strange cases, these. Do Mark, Do Mark. I call them Do Mark, have done for so long. They like to put their games in these. Houston did it for a while. Zynapse often comes in one of these. And Martech, Tarzan, 
it comes in. They're like these, they're really, ugh. they don't have a hinge. They just rely on a little bit of a con thinner connecting membrane to connect the two flaps. And frankly, they're rubbish and they go smoky colored and they don't look as good, but they are original. What do you do? Do you upgrade your lackluster case for a nice new polished shiny one? Often, yes. Um, or do you stick with the original thing? It's only a plastic case after all, it's not the game. Anyway, River Raid, River Raid, a classic game on the Atari VCS. And I say VCS first, not 2600. I'm, I'm not talking to people who just call it an Atari 2600. It's a VCS, video computer system. Um, this uh, classic, oh, drop the tape, classic uh, clam case split. You get that a lot. A lot of cam case, clam, ca a lot of cam belt chain, clam case uh, splits. Um, and this should also have a separate manual and it's a colour fronted manual, it's quite nice. But it's missing, not much value in that. Tiny touch and go, another one that was often given away free with the Spectrum. It's a, it's a keyboard tutor programme. Um, they're okay, I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever going to load one of them ever again. Another copy of Winter Games, two! Right. Pray with me, come on. Manual! Manual! <gasps> yes! We got the manual! You see, that's because you're all thinking good thoughts. Um, it's okay, it's a bit VG. You get these little, I don't know if you can see that, little, little dig in the inlay there. That is caused by the prongs, the prongs of the case. And they just, they just, oh, you get it a lot on ocean games, especially these black bottomed cases. Um, it's a shame, but I think we've all learned to live with it because there's so many rare games. Just the fact they've been put in this case gives them the classic inlay dent. In, not Judy Dench, inlay dent. Okay, we've got computer Scrabble. This is one of the, the second, after Trivial Pursuit, the second most popular game on the Spectrum. Nobody ever loaded it, but we all got it free. And uh, I think I, if I... If I'd kept all these that I've ever been sent, I could have built a small semi detached house out of these boxes. Um, and that would have been a better use for them than trying to play it. Okay, that is the big box. And quite frankly, I spent so long going on about the big box that I'm going to come back and do the little box in a new video. See you soon, guys. Computer stuff!